today the topic of discussion is normalization of data third normal form so prior to this we have discussed first normal form second normal form question on second normal form and in this video we are going to discuss what is third normal form so let's start the definition says third normal form is based on the concept of transitive dependency very important line third normal form is based on the concept of transitive dependency a functional dependency x arrow y in a relational schema r is transitive dependency if there is a set of attribute z z that is neither a candidate key that is neither a candidate key nor a subset of any key of r and both x to z and z to y holds that is i am saying what i am trying to tell you is that i am saying that x to y is a transitive dependency if there exists any attribute or set of attribute z which is not candidate key not a part of any candidate key and x to z and z to y hold in this case if x to z and z to y hold then definitely z x to x x to y will also hold that is if a is equal to b and b is equal to c then definitely a is equal to c so this is what transitivity so what is the definition a dependency x arrow y is said to be transitive dependency if there exists an attribute or set of attribute z or z from such that x to z and z to y exist then we can say that x to y is a transitive dependency now the definition comes a relational schema is said to be in 3nf a relational schema is said to be in 3nf if it is in 2nf first of all any relation of higher form should be in a lower form then no non prime attribute should be transitively dependent on candidate key that is there should not be transitive dependency there should not be a transitive dependency that is if x to y is a transitive dependency and if y is a non prime attribute non prime attribute means it is not a part of key then it should not transitively dependent on x that y should not transitively dependent on x fine so our relational schema is said to be in third normal form if it is in two normal form and no non prime attribute should be transitively dependent on candidate key now it comes the question no the question is let r x y z be a table having following functional dependency x to y and y to z determine whether given r is in 3nf or not if not then decompose it into 3nf fine so now the question is this that you have to determine that given r with given functional dependency is in 3nf if not then what will be the decomposition of this that is how we will decompose it to 3nf so let's start so i i while i was solving question on second normal form i told you just first the job is to find the candidate key so how to calculate the candidate key i request you if you still don't know how to find the candidate key i request you to kindly watch the shortcut key to calculate short, shortcut method to calculate candidate key so let's let's make an arrow, arrow diagram x to y then x to y is one dependency and then y to z y to z is another dependency then you need to find out the attribute in which there is no arrow so x is an attribute which is not pointed by an arrow or x is not determined by any of the functional dependency so i don't know what will be my candidate key but my candidate key will have an at attribute x i don't know what will be my candidate key but my candidate key will have an attribute x so le let's find the closure of x so x closure will have x then using this functional dependency i can write x to y i can write y and using this functional dependency y to z i can write z so with the help of x i can determine all the attribute of a table this means this x is a candidate key and only x will be the candidate key because as i just told you that candidate key will have x as a integral part if i take super set of x then that will become super key not candidate key and if you are still confused in candidate key i request you to kindly watch the video of candidate key and closures fine okay now let's uh, find now let's see the functional dependency and check whether they are in third normal form or not so we have a functional dependency x to y fine we have a functional dependency y to z fine then if we have x to y and y to z then can we write x to z definitely as i've just told you here that if a is equal to b and b is equal to c we can write a equal to c and if x to y 
and y to z is existing, then we can write x to z. And z is what? Non-prime attribute. Why z is non-prime attribute? Only prime attribute is x. All other are non-prime attribute. And non-prime attribute is transitively dependent on x. And this should not be a case because the definition says no non-prime attribute should be transitively dependent on candidate key. Here a non-prime attribute z is transitively dependent on x. Therefore, this table R, X, Y, Z having functional dependency this is not in 3NF. This table is not in 3NF. So what we'll do? We'll decompose this table. We'll decompose this table. So fine. So first of all, we'll decompose this table. So let's find the decomposition. So R1 table. Now find out the functional dependency because of which uh, uh, the table is not in 3NF. Y to Z. So I will write Y and Z. And second is R2, X and Y or you can write X, Y and Y, Z. So these are two decompositions. So now X to Y, here X will be a candidate key and X to Y to Z, Y will be a candidate key and X to Y, X will be a candidate key. Now if you check the both the table, they both are in 3NF because in this table there is no transitive dependency and in this table there is no transitive dependency. Hence this both the tables are in 3NF. Fine. Okay. So this is one of the definition of third normal form. Let's see the second definition or general definition of third normal form. Our relational schema R is in third normal form 3NF or relational schema R is in 3NF if whenever non-trivial functional dependency X to A holds in R either X is a super key or A is a prime attribute that is what the statement is trying to tell is that if x to a is a non-trivial functional dependency. So let's understand what is non-trivial. If x to a is a functional dependency and if a is subset of x, then this is trivial. Then this is trivial functional dependency. And if x to a is a functional dependency and a is not subset of x, then this is non-trivial functional dependency. That is if I'm saying x to y determine y here y is subset of x y so this is trivial this is trivial and if i say x to y determine z here z is not subset of x y so this is non trivial fine so that definition is revolving around non trivial functional dependency that is whenever a non trivial functional dependency x to a hold then Either X is a super key, that is if X to A is non-trivial functional dependency, then either this should be a super key or A should be a prime attribute. Prime attribute means part of key. Prime attribute means part of key. Fine. So this is what I was trying to tell you. This is what I was trying to tell you. Okay. So let's let's see the examples so which from, through which you will understand it more clearly, more, more, more clearly. Let's start with examples. Okay, let's start with examples. Now you have a table and you have a table and previously prior to this you have solved one question that is X, Y, Z is a table. This is in front of you and the dependency was X to Y and Y to Z and you have saw that this particular table was this particular table having this functional dependency was not in 3NF. Prior to this slide, if I go prior to this slide, you have solved this question that this table is not in 3NF. And what is the result in R1 and R2? Fine. Okay, let's move further. So you have this, uh, uh, you have this table and this table is not in 3NF. Is this table is in 2NF? Yes, this table is in 2NF. Why? This table is in 2NF because X2, if, if we have just calculated, we have calculated uh, the key. Key of a table was what? X. We have calculated that the key of a table. Key of table was X. So X was key of a table. And if table, the key of a table is X, then second normal form says that no non-prime attribute should be partially dependent on key. Y is fully dependent on X. And Z is non-prime attribute and it is not depending on key attribute. And if it is not depending on key attribute or part of a key, then this is also in 2NF. So the, this table R, X, Y, Z having functional dependency X to Y and Y to Z is in 2NF. It is following the condition of 2NF. And I request you to kindly watch the video of 2NF so that you will understand. Okay. So this table is in 2NF. But is this table a correct? No. 
even though this table is in 2NF, but still there is a redundancy. You can see there is a huge redundancy. AX, AX, AX is repeating. BY, BY, BY is repeating. CZ, CZ, CZ is repeating. So uh, in, in even in a seven rows, there is a, in, a huge repetition. So what we did, we divided. We divided this table. And if I check, uh, we have checked this particular uh, table through transitive dependency if i check this table through this definition again this will not be a uh, in 3nf why because the key of this table is x so what is non trivial functional dependency yes this is a non trivial this is the super key yes this is a super key so this fd is in 3nf if i check this fd this fd is not in 3nf why because either this should be a super key why is not a super key or this should be a prime attribute this is not a prime attribute so because of this fd this fd is not in 3nf so this table is not in 3nf so what we'll do we'll decompose this table so i've decomposed this table to r1 and R2. Now you can see that we have repeated in previous table AX three times. Now we are having AX one time. We have repeated BY two times. Now we have BY one time. We have repeated CZ two times. Now we have CZ one time. So have you seen the advantage while breaking a table? You have seen there is a huge amount of advantage of redundancy.